Across the country today, Thanksgiving turkey trots filled the streets with runners from all different walks of life. That was the case up in Cedar Park as 15 year old Jonah Papovich finished his first ever 5K. Jonah did it with the help of a local triathlete and his program called the Ordinary Marathoner Foundation. You can get into this trance like state after you've gone a certain distance. Nothing else in the world really exists. It's just you and your thoughts. You can learn a lot seeing the world through the eyes of a swimmer. You could learn even more through the eyes of Scott Frassard. Oh, that sucked. Scott sees things in a unique way. What you see is what you get. Expresses himself a bit differently. Sometimes it's hard for me to communicate my thoughts. Feels best understood through his actions. Actions that start in the pool and continue on land. I think I'm up to about 50 or 60 half marathons. I've attempted eight half Ironmans, finished five, and I've done one full, uh, one attempt, one completion of a full Ironman. An Ironman triathlon is a superhuman accomplishment. There's nothing like the feeling of crossing the finish line. Two and a half miles in the pool, 100 plus miles on the bike, a full marathon on foot to finish. But for Scott, it wasn't enough. My attention is always going somewhere else. The way he sees the world is different, so he wanted to make a difference. Ordinary Marathoner Foundation. A nonprofit that breaks down barriers. We raise money and we put on programs, and it's really to help give back to the community and bring people who would feel I couldn't otherwise do this sort of uh, stuff, these endurance uh, sports because of maybe perceived abilities or um, lack of access or resources. It turns out resources were all one Central Texas boy needed. Jonah Papovich is 15. I just want to like be happy at like certain things that I think are interesting. And he also sees the world in a unique way. Well, I'm autistic, so, uh, and I have trouble with anxiety. Jonah is training for his first 5K with help from Scott's foundation. We found Jonah who is our first participant. We set him up with shoes, proper running shoes, socks, uh, running belt, um, a coach uh, to do training. We've never done, uh, you know, seen what he can do um, physically. This is Jonah's mom, Maureen. But right from the start, he just seemed to kind of do it well. He doesn't complain. He seems happier, joyous afterwards. Jonah connects with his coach virtually. She gives him the workouts. He does the workouts most of the time by himself, all to prepare for race day. Hello. But on this race day, hey Jonah. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving day, Jonah isn't alone. He's probably going to beat me, but absolutely I'll be there. He's right next to someone who knows what it's like to run in his shoes. Just before the pandemic hit, I was uh, formally discovered as being autistic. It answered so much. Um, it explained so much of my life up until that point, and um, I fully embrace it. Three, two, one, gobble, gobble, gobble! As the race begins, we're now seeing the world through the eyes of two runners, two friends. There's that commonality of we're both autistic, the commonality of we're both runners now. I think it's kind of neat how he has autism like I do. It was a program that I came up with to give back to uh, this new community that, that I've learned I'm a part of, uh, the autistic community. People can get to know about about who I am and like what sort of like certain like challenges I might be facing out there. Congratulations on finishing your first uh, 5K. And there is your finisher's medal. Want to let everyone know that we're just different. We're not less. In Austin for KVU News, I'm Jake Garcia. Jonah was flying today. He ran those three miles in 26 minutes and placed ninth in his age group. Here's to many more races for Jonah and to Scott and his foundation. Many more lives touched thanks to their great work.